Welcome back to HammerDrawers.net uh, YouTube app reviews. This next app I'm going to show you is uh, SetCPU, which you can see in the corner. This is there's two different types of widget. This one's um, the the static widget. It doesn't change. There is an active widget which will show what speed your CPU is running at. Um, now the first thing you might notice, I've got a max speed of 1.1 uh, gigahertz because yes, I have overclocked my Nexus. Anyway. So when you get into it, um, <clears throat> you get to set the top or the minimum speed that you might want your processor to run at, as you can see there. So I'm saying when it's busy, yep, crank it right the way up, and I'm saying if I'm not doing anything that's that's all that intensive, drop the drop the speed down. Why, you might ask? Well, it's going to save battery basically. Um, there's different bits here. The most important one really is the profiles. So I can turn on profiles and you obviously you tick profiles on and then you tick in the different profiles themselves and you click modify to change. Uh, what I think one of the most important ones look is sleep standby. Now as you can see there look, press modify, it drops the clock speed right down to 384 uh, MHz as a maximum and even 245 as a minimum. So what that does when the phone turns itself off the clock speed drops right down. Obviously, the phone will still be trying to do things. It's 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 running the whole time, obviously. But what you're saying is, don't waste battery. Whatever you're doing, it's not that important. I don't mind waiting two seconds rather than half a second. Um, and in, in theory, that should save your battery. There are other things. So, battery profile. You can set it so that if your battery drops below thirty percent, the top speed it's going to use is six hundred and fifty-two. Um, you get different ones for like if the temperature's over a certain level. So if it's getting too hot, it'll automatically slow the, the clock speed down. Now, it is a free app, but it does require root. So if you haven't got root access on your phone, you won't be able to do it. They won't, you know, the operating system doesn't give you access to, to this kind of thing. Because in theory, you could really mess up your phone. If you overclock it, you could, you could overheat your CPU. Um, I'm using a kernel that's taken from XTA Developers Forum that you know a lot of people have tested and tweaked and run and and it, it is safe. And there's the little widget once more. Hammerdroids.net